Hello, I'm Richard Pesenko, a Senior Support Escalation Engineer with Microsoft, and this is my series on utilizing dashboards in System Center 2012 Operations Manager. This presentation will focus on visualizing performance data. To begin with, Operations Manager provides a new dashboard view that provides administrators with a dynamic and customizable view of data. Dashboards can be configured around a variety of layouts and reconfigured as needed. Dashboards are populated with data sources called widgets. Widgets can present data from alerts, state, performance, or display object details. The data presented within a widget can be further customized. Data can be filtered by specific criteria, grouped and sorted by various properties, and the amount of data presented can all be configured as needed for the specific goal of the dashboard. The personalized settings are persistent in the environment and are portable across all consoles in the management group. There are two types of widgets that can be used to visualize performance data in a dashboard. The first is a performance widget. This widget creates graphs similar to a performance view with the main difference being that it uses aggregated data from the data warehouse. The widget will automatically choose hourly aggregation data or daily aggregation data based on the time window that the widget is configured to display data for. Performance widgets may not display an identical chart to a performance view over small time windows as the performance view displays a chart compiled from raw data in the Operations Manager database, and the performance widget will use aggregated data from the data warehouse. Given a large enough time window, however, the performance widget and performance view will display very similar graphs. The second type of widget that a dashboard can use to display performance data is an Objects by Performance widget. This widget is specialized to show the top or bottom instances by a specific performance counter. The widget can be configured to show between 1 and 20 instances in a list format, and the instances will be ranked by the average value of the counter. In this first example dashboard, I'm using a column layout with one performance widget. I've scoped the widget to show performance data for computers in the AD Domain Controller group, Windows 2008 server. I have also selected four different performance counters. In the Add Performance Counter dialog box, all performance objects collected from the instances that are members of this group will be available. The dialog will not show performance objects collected for unrelated classes from the same host, nor will it show performance data from instances that are not members of the selected group. The time range for the display of performance data can be configured from a few minutes to a few years. Though aggregation is only performed hourly and daily, so there are limits as to how much detail can be seen with small time windows. Also, there's a limit as to how many data points can be displayed across a chart. Similar to the way that Performance Monitor handles large data sets, the Performance widget may only display one data point out of every two, three, four, or X number of data points in regular intervals. The performance chart may optionally show a legend at the bottom, and these are the columns that can be displayed. The vertical axis can also be configured manually or automatically calculated for optimal display. In this display, you can see the four series I selected. And as I select each series in the legend, the series in the chart above also becomes highlighted and vice versa. Also, as I mouse over the series, the value of that data point is displayed as well as the date and time that it was collected. 
On the task pane along the right edge of the console, tasks and reports targeted at the class of the selected object are available. If I were to select any task, the specific instance of the class I selected, in this case my specific domain controller, would already populate the required parameters of the task I selected. In the same way, if I select a report from either the task pane or from right-clicking on the series and selecting reports from the context menu, the domain controller that I have selected will, will already populate the report. In this dashboard, I have selected the column layout with two widgets. In the top widget, I have selected the logical disk object and I've chosen the percent free space counter. I'm also selecting the last value to display in the legend. If I select personalize from the configuration icon, I can add or remove columns or change their display order. Below the performance widget, instead of adding another widget, I've populated that cell with a grid layout, which is in itself populated with four different widgets. The four widgets I have chosen to use are object by performance widgets. Each of these four widgets uses a different performance object and counter pair targeted at members of the Windows Server Instances Only group. The time interval I've selected was one day, and the widgets are configured to show the top 10 results, although in my lab I only have five agents. The display preferences give an option for average value, but not for minimum, maximum, or last value. Also, the y-axis configuration has been replaced with an indicator bar length option. It too can be configured manually, or automatically. The object by performance widget allows me to display only the instances with the highest or lowest average value over the configured time period for the object counter pair. In this example, I'm looking at CPU usage, processor queue length, memory usage, and, and system free page table entries. A dashboard such as this would be useful for monitoring recent resource utilization and watching for spikes, dips, or trends indicating that one or more machines is in danger of exhausting RAM, disk space, or other system resources. I can go to the dashboard configuration icon and choose to add another cell. In this cell, I can add a details widget. When I do this, I can select any of the computers from the object by performance widgets and the details widget will populate with the properties of that object. The task pane will also populate the task and reports area based on the class of the selected object. If I go up to the Performance widget, however, the Details widget does not populate regardless of which series I select. This is due to the way that the Performance widget selects data and is expected behavior. The Task pane continues to populate tasks and reports by the selected class normally. These are just a few examples of how Dashboard Views and System Center 2012 Operations Manager can help visualize performance data to assist IT professionals in increasing their effectiveness and increase efficiencies in the data center. Thank you.